The opposition has slammed the Tasmanian government's commitment to the state's struggling manufacturing sector. It's been revealed the government's failed to secure a meeting with the Prime Minister to discuss the industry's plight. This Georgetown engineering company is tapping into the mining boom without leaving Tasmania. This business here is helping to work on a desalination plant near Bunbury in Western Australia. Downturns at Rio Tinto and BHP Billiton's Temco smelter have forced the business to look elsewhere for work. Which is helping to keep the jobs here in Tasmania because a lot of the work actually happens here on site in Georgetown. But the state government is being accused of ignoring Tasmania's struggling manufacturing sector. More than two months after announcing plans to lead a delegation to Canberra to discuss the industry's plight, a date still hasn't been set for the meeting. Partly because of the difficulty we've had in trying to get into the Prime Minister's diary because we have sought those uh, opportunities to be able to do that. Oh, it sounds yeah, like a, a lame excuse to me. The tourism sector is also doing it tough. Visitor numbers have nosedived and the industry's reeling from a multi-million dollar cut in government funding. The tourism industry is a jobs factory and if you cut the marketing then you're going to cut jobs. The Tourism Industry Council claims thousands of jobs have already been lost. It's issued a pre-budget plea to the government. We're asking for reinstatement of the funding that was there before. So unfortunately, uh, the times are such that, uh, uh, and the budget is so tight, that the decisions are being made on the run rather than in the strategic best interest of the state. One of many demands on the government in the lead-up to Budget Day. Brad Markham, ABC News.